Stan Jibalisco here from the Nerd Cave with Arduino Odyssey episode number 12. There's my ham radio in action. All tuned to the 21 megahertz band. If you are into ham radio, you know what that means. Phase shift keying showing up on the displays. And of course, because it's going to be what they call frigid, they keep saying partly cloudy and frigid tomorrow, partly sunny and frigid tonight, mostly clear and frigid. Well, it's starting to get a little old, but thank goodness I got a lot of fuel for this. So I don't have to be frigid here in the cave, but what I'd like to update you with now is <clears throat> a couple of lessons I've learned. Number one is patience equals power. I had so I became extremely exasperated with this Arduino uh, starter kit, and I decided I was going to go to Arduino for dummies instead. Well, right there you see the Villaros Ultimate Starter Kit Guide on top of Arduino for dummies. So I'm referring to them both, and I'm just stumbling along. I uninstalled all of the Arduino software and files, and then. I reinstalled them, except I didn't reinstall the Vilros, I just deleted it and then put it back. I don't know exactly what to tell you. I guess the thing to do is, if it doesn't, if something doesn't work the first time, well, remember that old saying, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again? Well, sleep on it and then try again. There's that yellow LED blinking. Now, I made a wiring error on that circuit board yesterday, and I only caught it just now because I had slept on it. I guess the thing to say, now I'm in experiment number one or circuit number one in this Arduino starter guide. Circuit number one is just making a little, uh, building a little circuit and making a yellow LED blink on and off. Sort of what happened on the board itself, except now this yellow LED is something that is on the external breadboard there of the Arduino. Is that going to focus for me? I guess it's not. This iPad is really great for close-up stuff when it feels like being great. Otherwise, when it feels like being crappy, it's pretty crappy. Well, here's the Nerd Cave. I just saw the sign that tells me where I'm at. Okay, so forget. So I've gotten that thing to work now, and so I'm going to give this Vilros uh, deal a second shot, probably a third and a fourth and a fifth shot too. Another thing happened, a couple other things. The first time it wouldn't upload. The reason it wouldn't upload is it couldn't find the COM port. I tried to set the COM port, the program wouldn't let me. That's why I reinstalled the software. Originally it said it was on COM3, now when I reinstall it, it wants to be on COM5. So, okay, computer, you want COM5, you got COM5. So, there we go, now it works. <laughs> go figure. And the other thing was, I did try to create, a, uh, try to use the restore point that I created. Lo and behold, my computer would not go back there. It told me something was getting in the way. Probably my antivirus program, so I disabled that. Still wouldn't do it. You know... Computers are an inexact science, and for a person who grew up as a pure mathematician enthusiast, who likes perfect rigor and perfect order in the universe, computers and the internet are not the place. If you are a pure mathematician like G.H. Hardy was, if you like your universe to be cut and dried, it's just a matter of going and finding what's there by means of perfect logic and perfect sense. You're in the wrong universe now, buddy. Stan Jibalisco, signing off. That's Great Images in NASA wallpaper, by the way. Go to Great Images in NASA. You can find it on my website. Poke around. I'm not going to tell you how to get there. You figure that out for yourself. Till next time, so long.